Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Boy Becomes Hysterical at Family Cookout and Common BBQ Menace is to Blame. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. Flames aren't the only things to beware when firing up the grill. That wire grill brush poses another serious BBQ threat. And their bristles have sent plenty of folks to the hospital. During warm weather and summer holidays, you'll find plenty of people itching to break out the grill. Most folks already know they need to be cautious with things like fire, propane, and kerosene. But flames aren't the only threat during grill season. You know those wire grill brushes commonly used to scrape off the grates of the grill? Well, they pose a serious threat many never realized. Those heavy-duty metal bristles can break off and find their way into the food. And once swallowed, they can do serious damage. For one man in Australia, it took doctors more than a week to figure out why he was experiencing severe abdominal pain when trying to eat. After four visits to the emergency room, doctors finally located the problem. They performed surgery to remove a wire grill brush bristle from the man's pancreas. For a mom in Canada, a few hours after a 4th of July cookout, her four-year-old son suddenly began screaming in pain. At first, they feared he was having a reaction due to his severe nut allergy. But other than choking and crying, he wasn't exhibiting any of his other allergic reaction symptoms. 24 hours and two hospital visits later, doctors surgically removed two metal bristles from his esophagus. Another family had a similar scare with their six-year-old son. After a Father's Day barbecue, the boy suddenly began crying and became frantic. He was kind of hysterical, recalled dad Aaron Hargreaves. He was pretty upset and he was saying there was something stuck in his throat. After rushing him to the hospital, doctors found the culprit behind all the pain, a metal bristle from a wire grill brush in his esophagus. The fact that the bristle hadn't traveled any further was a blessing. We were just so lucky it got caught in his throat and it didn't puncture anything in there, he says. If it would have made it into his stomach, the doctor said it could have been much worse. The best way to keep safe from accidentally ingesting metal bristles is to steer clear of wire grill brushes altogether. There are alternative methods for cleaning grill grates, such as using a pumice stone or a coil-shaped bristle-free brush. If sticking with a stainless steel or brass wire grill brush, be sure to inspect it before and after every use. If any areas have fewer bristles than others or the brush is worn or warped in any way, toss it immediately. Wipe with a damp cloth before and after use, and don't leave the brush out in the elements. Be sure to share this story with others so they can stay safe while firing up the grill. His dad and sister were in danger, so the seven-year-old hero swam over a mile to save them. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. A seven-year-old boy saves his sister and dad after a boating accident, and the family knows God was the one guiding and protecting this child as he did the unthinkable. Stephen Prost of Florida took his seven-year-old son Chase and four-year-old daughter Abigail out on his boat on Memorial Day for some family fishing and fun. But in the blink of an eye, things took a terrifying turn when a dangerous current came through. It would have been so easy for this story to turn tragic if not for seven-year-old Chase. But God gave this little boy the strength and courage to save his sister and dad. Holding onto the anchored boat, Chase and Abigail were in the water swimming when things got dicey. A strong current suddenly swept through, causing Abigail to release her hold on the boat. The laws in the area for a boat the size of Stevens only required life vests for children ages 6 and under. So, while Abigail wore a life jacket, Chase did not. 
As the current pulled his four-year-old sister away, the sweet boy wasn't going to leave her alone. He too let go of the boat and swam toward his sister. Realizing the danger, Stephen immediately jumped into the water and tried to help his kids, but the strong current made it difficult even for him. So he told Chase to swim to shore while he continued trying to rescue Abigail. I told them both I loved them because I wasn't sure what's going to happen, Stephen recalled. I tried to stick with her as long as I could. I wore myself out, and she drifted away from me. Seven-year-old Chase Prost followed his dad's instructions and headed for the shore. But it was no easy task, especially with the current. The current was going the opposite way of going to the boat and the shore, so it was very hard to swim that way, he explained. In order to save his sister and dad, this little boy spent an hour fighting his way back to land. He swam more than a mile, alternating between paddling and floating on his back. I felt really scared, Chase said. Once he finally made it to the shore, the courageous boy ran to the first house he could find and begged for help. From there, Jacksonville authorities took over and rescued Stephen Prost and his four-year-old daughter from the St. Johns River. This brave and determined little boy saved his sister and dad, but there's no doubt he got some help from above too. By the grace of God, we're here, Chase's dad, Stephen said. Little man also made it to shore and got help, and that's what saved our lives. We're so glad this positive news story has a happy ending, and what a powerful reminder to always wear a life jacket. Then they send up their cry to the Lord in their sorrow, and he gives them salvation out of all their troubles. Psalm 107, 28. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.